What is up guys, this is Destro here, and today we are doing top 10 GTA Online cars, uh, rare cars, sorry. <laughs> um, so, basically what's going to classify a car as rare is if you cannot buy it on the store, or, uh, you know, actually the rare cars kind of, the collector's edition cars kind of break that rule. So, I mean, still the normal people cannot buy them off the store. So, we're going to start with the rare van. This van is known as the Bravado Yuga van. It can be found around industry areas, and like most other common cars like this one, it's going to be, if you see one of them, you're going to see a lot of them. However, you cannot buy them online, so that's what makes this van rare. As you can see, it has some pretty cool upgrades, which include a tow hook. I'm not sure how that works. As you'll see with the next car, it also has a tow hook. However, I have not tried to grab a boat yet. I will actually probably try to do that after this video. But, um, there's not as much cool stuff as I'd like there to be. The roof extension's kind of cool. If you go under too short of bridges, you can actually scrape the bottom of the bridge. So that's why this one's number 10, is because it's fairly common, but it's technically rare. Now this is a car you probably haven't heard of. This is the Balakan Prairie Compact. It is a, well, compact car that is found within the Rockford Hills area and the Vinewood Hills area. It, it looks like a common car, it looks like a lot of other cars, however, it has some attachments that make it very unique. As you can see, the grill on the front is not used in any other areas. You've got the carbon hood, which looks very cool, and then you have the tow hook, the pink tow hook in the back, which looks really cool. And of course, you had the GT wing in the back. Um, I really like carbon hoods on cars, because most of the carbon hoods are on rare cars. So yeah, this is number 9, I really like it as well. This is the Vapid Peo without a hood. This is a very interesting car without the hood. I like it a lot better without the hood. And sadly, you cannot buy it online without the hood. You have to find it yourself. So this car features some very cool upgrades as well as the next two cars. Uh, they all have the bug catcher, which is the engine that's showing with the three red holes, which, which looks really cool. You can also get this really nice looking uh, Los Santos Customs or just Los Santos um, kind of, I'm not sure what you'd really call it. It's just like a metal plaque in the back behind you. And then you can get a spare tire in the back. Of course, you can't actually use a spare tire. And then you can have ground feelers. I'm not sure what those do in real life. However, they kind of look like a bike brake. So I think this car is really cool as well. As uh, It's kind of like the next two cars as well. So be prepared for more of this. The Albany Buccaneer is a muscle car, kind of just like the last one we had, except it has a very, very interesting attachment that I have never seen. Do you see those wheels on the back? Yeah, I have no clue what those would do in real life. So this car I actually found about a week ago. I think it looks, especially the grill, looks very nice. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what the feelers in the back are actually for in real life. I'm not sure what you would do with those. If anybody has an idea, you should comment below because I really don't know what those would do. Anyway, like our next... Uh, number this this is a muscle car with a bug catcher <laughs> those are actually quite popular with muscle cars in this game however like I said you cannot buy this online sadly now for my favorite muscle car the Phoenix the Phoenix is a very very nice car which can be customized in many different colors and still looks cool especially with that stripe a lot of different color combos you can use as you can see, it was kind of beat up in the back, or well, in the front. It's because I actually crashed into a wall, but, you know, I kept recording anyway. So, um, actually, I forgot to tell you where those last two cars were. All these muscle cars can be found at the airport. If you don't find them there at the first time, or, I'm sorry, not the airport, but the, uh, the shipping bay. It's kind of next to the airport. So, if you don't find it there the first time, you can just change your spawn location to um, last location and then just keep finding lobbies. You will find the Phoenix eventually. The other two cars, I'm not too sure about because those are fairly uncommon, but this has got to be my favorite muscle car in the entire game. This is the BF Surfer. Now, unfortunately, the BF Surfer does not have almost, it almost has no customization, but still, it is this high in the list because it's a cool looking car <laughs> and it's kind of hard to find actually. Now I will show you where to find it in just a moment, but just to prove my point of there not being much customization, and by that I mean you saw how our other cars actually had, you know, grills in the back and extra tires and stuff like that. This doesn't have really much anything. But 
where you're going to find it is over here on the end of the map. If you don't find it the first time, which you almost never will, you need to do what I said with the other muscle cars and just keep looking for lobbies until you find it. Best of luck to you. Now, these are the two special edition cars that I have. The other one sucks. Let me just say that. It doesn't look rare or anything. It looks just like the body. It's the Carbono uh, RS. The Carbon RS. So this is the Hot Knife. I find the Chameleon a lot better, but the Hot Knife just really looks cool. Let's beat the shit out of this guy. Oh, he's trying to run away. Take him down. Alright. So this is the Hot Knife. It's really cool to look at, and it's actually <laughs> the shortest car in the game. Yes, you can make the suspension. Uh, and to where you will actually be taller than the car yourself. So this car is ridiculously short, and I will explain how to get both of these cars, the Chameleon and the Hot Knife, after we finish up with the Chameleon. So like I said, this is not a car to take to a race. You do not want to take this car to a race, because it sucks. I'm just going to be blatant with that. It sucks. It's just eye candy, really. Like I said, with the Hot Knife being eye candy, it's still a really cool car. I mean, look at this. The engine is exposed. You've got smoke coming out. Uh, I don't think you can change the color of the smoke in the front. That would be really cool if you could change it to neon green. But, of course, we've got another bug catcher that I put on there. And, um, yeah, like I said, the car looks really cool. But uh, I'm also going to explain how to get this car and the Chameleon after we get done with the Chameleon. So, let's go to that car. So, as you can see, I'm actually calling my mechanic to get this car, and the, if you noticed, I also called my mechanic to get the Hot Knife, which, by the way, is the only car in the game that doesn't have a company, it's just called the Hot Knife. So, back to the point. <laughs> this Chameleon is really cool, I actually made it lime green, because, you know, Chameleons, sort of lime green, I mean, most of the time, but... <laughs> Um, sorry, I kind of got off the point. The Chameleon is the rarest electric car in the game, and I can confirm that. The rest of the electric cars are buyable, or you will see them a lot. So, as you can hear, uh, the Chameleon is an electric car, and it looks really cool, and it works very nice, and that's why I think it's better than the Hot Knife. What's really cool about this car is, uh, if you've watched GTA Mythbusters, they actually set it on fire and it does not explode because it's a, um, electric car. It's, it's, um, well, you know how, you can look it up how electric cars actually work, but, uh, cars that are, you know, more gasoline-fueled blow up in this game. However, the electric cars, this one and a couple other ones, I'm not too familiar with those generic, uh, cars that you can actually buy, but those will explode if you light them. So, that's a really cool feature. And also, if you've been watching, it has some pretty cool carbon. You can make the roof carbon, the back carbon, and the front carbon. So, I'm about to show you how to get both of these cars for free. Alright, so we walk over by this bum here, because, you know, he's the guy we can really trust. And, go on the internet, go to Travel and Transport, head over to Legendary Motorsport, sign up for Rockstar Social Club, and get the LG for free. Now you're going to go home, hover over the URL, press B and A, kind of fast, and then go back and type in Car Details 28. 29, I believe, is the Hot Knife and the chameleon. You see their chameleons there right now. So you're going to go back to home, press B and A again on the URL, and then back out of um, car details and type in purchase car. Then it will prompt you to replace the car. I did not, of course, replace the car because I actually already have it fully upgraded. So if you need a better tutorial on that, slow down what I just said or go back or go to another video. I'm not really good at explaining those kind of things. Now to get to the ultra rare cars, this is the hearse, one of the coolest cars in my opinion. It does not have a lot of customization, if you're looking for customization you will be disappointed because it is lacking customization, but I mean cut the car some slack, it has a dead guy in it. The handling is really good for a car with two people in it, if you know what I mean. But yeah, let's go check it out in Los Santos Customs. So like I said, the customization is kind of lacking, um, the only thing that you can do actually yeah the, you can do pretty much normal things with the car however there's no customization uh, I made it mine gold just cuz I think it looks cool gold um this car can be found at the funeral home however someone has to be in your game you can do it without someone being in your game but it has a very uh, not likely chance of spawning if somebody is in your game riding in the car 
it is more likely to spawn. I'd say about an 80% chance of spawning. So, try to find someone who has it. Alright, the number one car. What will it be? Let's see. Let's see. You knew this was coming. And it's the sticker bomb car. This is the Declassia Sia, one of the most pain in the ass cars to get guaranteed. I name me another car that's more of a pain in the ass to get that you can actually put in your garage and not buy online. So this car, oof, man, uh, I will explain to you after this uh, when we get in the garage, but this car is super pain in the ass to get, but it is so worth it to drive around people and be like, hey, look at me, I have the rarest car in the game. It, it's awesome, it really is. I really miss the rat loader for that, <laughs> you know. Alright, so to get the Declassy Asia, what you have to do is you have to have a friend start a completely new game, and he has to start the race at the beginning with the Declassy Asia, which is a car you can choose. Now, uh, if he gets in first, second, or third place, the car will, he'll be driving the car along with a couple of other noobs, basically they're noobs because they're level ones, and um, he has to ditch those people, or else they'll probably take the car if they're you know, basically you looking for it as well. He has to ditch uh, those people. And you need someone in the game to join your party so that you're, you can join the game. I don't know why it works like that, but you can't join your friend. You have to have someone in that game join your party, and then you can join the session. I, I don't know how Rockstar did that. That doesn't really make any sense to me. But you get the car from your friend and put a tracker on it and put insurance on it and it's yours. And the sticker bomb panels actually are not on there when you first get it. That's why it's unrecognizable. I guarantee you if I drove this car around without the sticker bomb panels, people would not try to kill me as much as they do. <laughs> so I gotta warn you guys, these last two cars on the list, if you drive them around, people will try to kill you for no reason. I can guarantee it. As you can see, in the middle of recording right here, here's a guy who just tried to kill me. Thank God uh, the lag happened because he smashed into that pole. So, uh, that's pretty much the end. This is uh, number one. This is my favorite car, rare car of GTA Online. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the uh, <laughs> comments below. And tell me which cars you like that are rare. And maybe if you message me on Xbox Live, my gamer tag's in the description, I will come into the lobby with a hearse, and you might be able to get it for yourself. However, for the d Sia, that is up to you, my friend. Because sorry, I'm not doing that again. That is a pain in the ass to get. So, like I said, be careful with these cars around people. People are fucking crazy on online. They'll try to kill you anyway, but with a rare car like this, they will murder you. They're out for blood. So, <laughs> if you like this video... Don't forget to like. If you want to see some more top 10s, head over to my channel. And thank you for watching. Um, hope you have a nice day. Hi. What service are you looking for? I take it this isn't purely a social call. Of course not. You're in trouble and you need my help. No problem.